Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a folder from your Google Drive to our web page. Uh, this will be good for sharing information to uh, parents and of course students as well. Uh, keep in mind that this is accessible then to anyone who has access to the web page. So just keep that in mind when you're sharing information. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your Google Drive. So I'm in my Google Drive right now and I've already created this folder here, this test parent folder, and I would recommend that you create a completely different folder um, for this information. That way you're always sure that you're only sharing the information from that particular folder. All right, so that's this test parent. Now I can go through here and I can share anything to there. So all I have to do is go to my drive, wherever folder I might have, and from there, I'm going to be able to share those resources. So, for example, here's a, a folder that I a file that I have. In order to share that, I would just uh, click on it and drag it right over here to the um, parent folder and let go. And it's going to give me a warning um, just to let you know that you're moving things from one folder to another. Um, you only get this if you share that folder already with someone, which I do in this particular case. So uh, you typically won't see that. But keep in mind that once you, when you move it like that, um, that it will actually move from folder to folder so it doesn't leave a copy behind. Um, if you're going to, uh, if you want the file to stay behind, what you're going to want to do is right click on the file and simply uh, make a copy of it. Uh, once you do that, um, then it, and then move the copy over to your folder. Okay, so I have my folder um, created with a couple things in there, just miscellaneous stuff. The next thing I want to do is share that folder. So I'm going to click on that folder. I'm going to right click on it. Or if you're in the My Drive, if you're just in your, you know, the top level of your folder, what you want to do is just simply find that folder. Um, if I can find that folder. Okay, there's the folder right there. So you can just uh, click on it and then go up to your share. And this would be just like if you were sharing anything else um, inside of Google. So I'm going to click on the link. Um, we're going to share and there's our link and we're just going to copy that link. So, um, and actually those permissions are not correct. See how it says Exeter Township School District only right there? We don't want that. So we're gonna change our sharing settings and make sure that it says anyone. We're gonna do more and we want um, public on the web or anyone with the link. Either one would be okay. I'm going to just click on anyone with a link. So that means that any resource um, that has a link, has this direct link we're going to share, we'll be able to see it. So I'm going to say save. Okay, and now I'm going to copy that link. And I'm done. All right, so basically what I've done is I've created a, a folder inside of Google Drive. I have um, pulled resources into that folder. And then... Uh, I have gone ahead and share the link on that folder. And please make sure that you change so it says anyone with this link and not anyone inside of Exeter has the link. That's the big piece there. Okay, so I've done everything I need to do in Google Drive for right now. So now I'm going to go back to my web page. Um, and I get, that, get to that by simply um, going up here um, on our web page and saying um, it will have a login. Um, I'm already logged in, so it, it has already given me that. And uh, you just want to go ahead and hit log in, and your credentials are what you use to log into your computer. Okay. And then you'll get uh, mine is a little bit more uh, involved because I have access to the whole site. But basically, you'll just see kind of what you have access to. And yours is your pages are generally located under the faculty and staff section of your individual website. So I have mine under the senior high. You would have yours under whichever building you reside in, faculty and staff. All right, so we have a web page, and I actually have a demo web page. Uh, you can put this on your welcome page that you all have built out, um, or any, you can create a whole new page if you want. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is go over here. Uh, this probably looks a little different if you haven't been on the website for a while. Um, this is kind of the the 
new way of editing your page. Um, you can drag and drop anything from here over. Um, I am going to look specifically here for our Google folder um, thing, which is right here. So this says Google folder. I'm going to take this and drag it over and you'll see how these turn green. See the green box? It says gray. All right. So anywhere I see green, I can drag and drop. And there it is. Now I'm going to want to name this something specific. So if it's a class, I'm just going to edit this. Um, I'm just going to call it Joe's first period. Okay. Um, you would obviously name that something that would make sense to you. And I'm going to hit the little checkbox, and now I've named it. Anything inside of our web page, if you see this green circle or a gray one, you can use it to edit. Since I have nothing else here, normally I would see also a gray box here, which I could also click. Um, but when you have nothing in there, you see the green usually. Okay. And then here is where I'm going to post. I'm going to copy and paste that link that I copied from our Google Drive. All right, so this is the shared link. And then I'm going to decide on which um, view I want that folder. I would generally pick the list um, unless it's something very, like you want it to really pop. The list is just easier for someone to navigate through and it takes less bandwidth for our students that have a low bandwidth on their internet. Um, the height, uh, you can pick um, kind of anything you want here. Uh, I have picked 400 in the past. Um, you can actually go back and adjust this. And all this is, is how tall um, this box is going to be on your website. Um, it doesn't affect um, what they can see overall, but just what they can see when they go to the page initially. And then there'll be a scroll bar, which I'll show you in a second, on the side that will allow you to go up and down inside the box. Okay. Um, really, that is all you need to do. You hit the Save button. Uh, one of the things you can do, which is really neat on our web page, is any site, any page that you have edited, uh, you can quickly preview it by just simply clicking that box. Now, the view that you're going to see, depending on what size screen you're looking at this on, is almost always going to be what someone on a tablet or a very small laptop, like a 10-inch laptop, um, what they would see. Um, on a on a normal screen, a normal laptop screen or desktop screen, this is going to look a little bit different, but it will give you a pretty good idea of how things look. And you have a whole bunch of other junk on here. And yes, junk is probably the right word. But this is the box right here of our Google stuff. So um, you can see I can scroll across to see more information, but it's going to just simply list all of the files that I have in that um, folder inside of Google Drive. And what's really nice is it is a live view. So if I go in and delete or add things in here, it will do the same. So um, that's the really nice thing. So as you get more and more resources, you simply go into your Google Drive and move them into the resources. And this page here will automatically update. So it's a really quick and easy way to, um, to share things with parents. Um, the one thing that I would probably also do is just do a small um, content area here. So uh, let's see. So right above this class, I would drag this content. What I would do is take this content and drag it right above the class. And what's nice about doing that is then I can. Um, just call it intro for right now, parent. And then what I can do is do some simple text, you know, that welcomes the parents. It would help if I could spell. Our some resources. Okay. And then I would save. I can get out and now. When I go down to look, there's my resources and there's a little 
introduction. Obviously, you'd want to make this bigger, maybe bold it a little bit, but it gives you an idea. Once again, this is not something you have to do, but obviously it makes a lot more sense on your web page if you have something like that. And um, that's a very quick and easy way to do some explanation. If you have to explain what these documents are in any way, this is a good way of doing that. Just put a simple content um, app above it where you can just free text type just like you would in Word and you can type and highlight and do all the things that you normally would do on our web page. So that's a quick and easy way to share information. Once again, you're going to go into Google Drive, you're going to create a folder, you're going to put content in that folder, and you're going to share that folder. Please make sure you share to everyone, not just Exeter Township School District people. And then you go on the website and simply um, drag the Google folder app that you will see over here. Here it is right here. Drag it over and then um, the area to uh, copy and paste your content will be right there. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.